In this lesson, we're going to continue our discussion of infiltration, and we are going to begin learning some methods to estimate infiltration. So we're going to talk about two different methods in this video. First, we're going to talk about the index method, and then we will look at the Horton model. Okay, so let's start by talking about the index method. This is sometimes called the fee method. This is the simplest method for estimating infiltration, which also means that it very often underestimates the total infiltration. The fee method is derived from measured rainfall and runoff. And so you, to use this method, you have to know the rainfall and the runoff in a watershed. And so you can backtrack out the infiltration if you know how much rain fell and then the runoff. Um, and you can use it for that watershed. It is not transferable for, from watershed to watershed. And really, what we know about infiltration suggests that really it's different from storm to storm. And so what this method does is it gives a fee index as a level of intensity that divides a rainfall hiatograph graph into an amount of water that becomes runoff and leaves the watershed and through uh, surface flow, and then a second amount that leaves the watershed as infiltration into the subsurface flow. What that means is this. If this is an estimate for my hiatograph, meaning rainfall per hour, let's just say it went like this, and we had four hours of data. What the index method does is it assumes some level of constant infiltration. So it cuts this hiatograph and it says all of this, everything under this curve, all the rainfall that falls under this curve, here's my index, will become infiltration. And everything above this line will become runoff. So let's look at an example here to understand this better. So here's our, our example. And this hiatograph should look familiar from the first introduction to infiltration lecture from a couple days ago. So we have uh, this hiatograph for a storm in a 100-acre watershed. And our first question is we're going to assume the infiltration rate is a constant level of 2 inches per hour. And that is shown by the green line straight at the two inches per hour on the hiatograph. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to determine the runoff volume. And again, this runoff volume is going to be all of the rainfall above that line. So that's going to represent our, our runoff. Of course, we could look at this and see and count that we have one here and then two and then in from our two to three we have three four five six total inches of rain that become runoff right but i'm going to go through and set up a table on how to solve this so that you can use that approach in other examples. So let's start by looking at hour one. So this is gonna go from zero to one. In that hour, the rainfall intensity is two inches per hour. The infiltration is two inches per hour. The runoff, therefore, is zero. And then we're gonna convert this to acre feet and that is also zero. Okay, I'll do out loud again the next entry. So in hour two, the intensity of rain, I, is four inches per hour. The infiltration is a constant rate of two. The runoff is then two inches per hour, which we can convert to acre feet. I encourage you to do that math. 16.7 acre feet. Okay, so we can do the same for the third hour. 
And in the third hour, we're going to end up with 33.3 acre feet of runoff. In the fourth hour, when we have two inches per rain, nothing is going to run off. And then lastly, we only have one inch of rain. And so again, nothing is going to run off. So I'm going to sum up the runoff column, which becomes six total inches of rain, which is half a foot. So over a hundred acre watershed, that is 50 acre feet. So I can determine the runoff percent here. We have 50 acre feet of runoff and 125 acre feet of rain. Remember we found that the other day. So this is 40% of the water that fell as precipitation ended up as runoff. The remaining 60% was infiltrated into the groundwater. Now let's quickly look at part two. I'm just going to briefly talk about this because I want you to take some time to think about it on your own and ask questions when we meet on Zoom. So part two says an observer measured a volume of runoff to this same rainfall event on the watershed equal to 25 acre feet. And so we want to use this to find the average infiltration rate P. So what we know about this watershed is that 125 acre feet of rain fell. We know that this observer saw that the runoff was 25 acre feet, which leads us to conclude that we have 100 acre feet of water that was lost from the watershed due to infiltration. 100 acre feet spread over the 100 acre watershed leads us to one foot of depth of total water that is infiltrated during the storm. This is 12 inches and it occurs over five hours. And so if we use this approximation, that would suggest that our fee would be equal to 12 inches over five hours, which is 2.4 inches per hour. And so our first question is, does this work? If we use a fee of 2.4 inches, how much total rainfall will we get? I'm gonna move up here up to the figure and draw a line of 2.4 inches and we'll try and estimate it real quick. So I've come in here and put a line of about 2.4 inches. It's a darker green line. And so how much total runoff will we get here? Well, we're gonna get none in that first hour, right? Because everything is below that curve. And in the second hour, we're gonna get this amount, which is the difference between our four inches of rain and our 2.4 inches of infiltration, which will give us 1.6 inches of runoff. Then we come over here to the next hour, and this is now our runoff. Okay, so we had six inches of rain, and again, we have our 2.4 inches of infiltration, and so this leaves us with 3.6 inches of runoff for our total runoff in this storm of 5.2 inches. Because we can see that the rainfall in the last two hours is going to be below that infiltration rate. And if we have 5.2 inches of runoff, based on what we know about the total amount of rain that fell, this would leave an infiltration of 9.8 inches of rain. Okay, so this is not quite enough to hit that 12 inches of total infiltration. So we have to try a different fee. So I encourage you to try a different fee and find a fee that will work for this scenario.